Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Camels. I'm Steve Coleman, joined today by Milcho Vasilev, looking at battles. Right, so battles have been updated. We now have lethality, visibility updates, tweaked missile trajectories, and a lot more. Can you tell us a bit about the lethality system to start with? Okay, so lethality is a new system which we are introducing to the battles, which would help make the battles feel a lot more impactful and visceral and cinematic in a way. Basically what lethality does, it adds a percentage chance every time a blow is landed for it to be lethal outright and kill the opponent in immediately. This works both for melee weapons and for ranged weapons, which can really be noticed on the battlefield. And because of that, make sure that the pacing of the battles remains uh, slow and tactical, how we want it for Pharaoh. We made sure to rework all the units and all their stats to make sure that they include this lethality and it works as we intend it to be. Lethality helps us add new finishing animations because it now happens faster uh, in that regard and it makes the battles really feel more cinematic in that way. Great, okay. And what about the tweaked missile trajectories and the updates to visibility? Okay, so we wanted to make sure that the missile weapons feel as realistic as possible. We know how in the real world uh, they often show us archers shooting at those huge arcs aiming high and then shooting at enemies so far, but actually a bow is, or even slings, are much more effective when they're sh being shot directly because none of the force is being wasted. We wanted to make sure to represent that well in the game. And so we are making the trajectories of the weapons be more dynamic, whereas the units can um, choose if they want to shoot directly at enemies or choose to shoot with an arcing shot. Uh, and this will result in different damage and different lethality. In terms of visibility, we are doing an update of how it works uh, in the game to make sure that we are adding another tactical layer on the battlefield by making sure that players are, can more easily outmaneuver their opponents by keeping units hidden and so on. The way units hide in forests will now work slightly differently and the way they see when they're out of forests is also being improved to make it feel more realistic. And now you can also hide units behind forests or obstacles, not just inside them the way it was in the original game. Overall visibility of units have, have been tweaked and so now units that are more armored have larger helmets uh, that impede their sight in a way. We'll have um, more trouble noticing enemies that are not too close to them, whereas other unit types are going to be more like scouts that players can use to try and find the enemies on the battlefield and thus gain more knowledge on the enemy's tactics and outmaneuver them. Awesome, okay. So speaking of units, there's a ton of new ones coming to the game in the update. Uh, let's home in on a few of them now. Let's uh, look at Mesopotamia. Do you have any particular favorites? And can you tell us a bit about their strengths and weaknesses in combat? So Mes Mesopotamia is mostly divided into two distinct rosters, the Assyrians and the Babylonians. The Assyrians are much uh, more elite, low numbers and specialized, but they do actually have a cavalry, which opens up a lot of new tactical possibilities on the battle map. Babylonians, on the other hand, rely on a lot of very cheap but numerous units that are not that good in battles by themselves, but they are supported by the so-called taskmaster unit types that allow them to become stronger when they are around. So positioning your army and positioning your units correctly when playing the Babylonians or playing against them, it's going to be vital and very important. Okay, uh, what's changed in the Aegean? What are the Greeks bringing in terms of their strengths and weaknesses? So we are reintroducing a lot of the units that we had in Troy in Total War Pharaoh. All of the units from Troy needed a rework to make sure that they fit the frame of Pharaoh in those slower paced, more tactical battles. Most of their abilities, their stats, they have been completely reworked. In terms of the Mycenaeans and the Trojans, we are keeping the flavor of the armies where the Trojans are very defensive focused faction with some of the biggest shields in the game, like those large figure of eight shields uh, that they wield. Uh, they have almost unbreakable lines, but what they have defense, they lack in offense, where the Mycenaeans excel at. 
The Mycenaeans are a, the much more aggressive type of roster that depends more on chargers and shock units that can really pack a punch in the moment of the charge, uh, but I cannot stand too long in prolonged melee combat. Let's have a look at battle maps. Troy had some absolutely beautiful battle maps and uh, Mesopotamia as well. What are we going to expect in the way of new maps? Yes, we are reintroducing all the maps that we had in Troy uh, in here in Pharaoh. They have been slightly reworked to make sure they fit in the Pharaoh framework with adding the new victory points, uh, making the walls uh, of settlements wider, but overall they are going to be the way you saw them in Troy. Uh, for the Mesopotamian regions, we are adding a ton of new battle maps, including the city of Babylon itself, with its unique architecture and the uh, new unique layout. We are also making the land battles a lot larger than they used to be, to allow for even more tactical outmaneuvering, which the players enjoy in this more slow-paced type of gameplay. So there we are, 60 new and reworked battle maps, including Babylon, 150 new and reworked units, including camels and cavalry, updated mechanics, lethality, visibility, trajectories, and so much more. This is Bronze Age Total War, and we can't wait for you to get your hands on Total War Pharaoh Dynasties. We're finally giving the players a total war that fits as much of the Bronze Age as possible. I am excited to be able to conquer a lot more lands and fight different cultures.